while well, the music's on. Stewie Scott takes it, fires the hand pass immediately across to the runner, Scragger. We'll get you the take out yet, Scragger. Long kick from Scragger Neal. Uh, Scragger Craig down into that forward zone. At the back of the pack, a chance for Bookter. Umpires paid the free kick. The vantage paid as Bookter gets the hand pass quickly across. Cam Peely tackled his opponent a bit high. Bookter kicked it off the ground. Umpires allowed play to go on. At the base of the pack there, Eskimo Quinn gets the hand pass out. The Marty Eskimo out it goes there in the direction of Murray Scott. Gives it back to uh, Stewie Scott. Gives it back to Murray Scott. Thank God there's not another brother. Here's the love child, young Cookie. <laughs> up and under with the right foot kick to leave it. Takes the mark. Fires off the hand pass immediately. Don't know about that one, Winger Wilson. It's out on the full. And uh, it went the way of Blue West there, free kick, and it came back in, and Cam Peatley took the mark. Goes up towards Beekman, who runs from full four, but Calder takes the mark and plays on. Ooh, just gets away from the tackle of Lehman. Stevens runs and gives it back to Calder, who's running from centre-half back through the middle of the ground. Poor kick off the boot, but it goes over the back of the pack. Burnett's there. Also, uh, David McKenzie for, for the Blue West side. He tries to kick it off the ground. Burnett back again. He can't pick the ball up. Neither side can pick the ball up at half back. I think umpire Noel Hooper's going to have to bounce the ball, and he will so now. We're just getting uh, David Top Cook. No, David no, no, no. <laughs> David Cook's trying to start the uh, Bannock Burns Sporting Trophy's time clock. I think he's done so now. The ball up out of side. Justin Ladder gets it towards Greg Johnson. Also kneels over there. Stacks on the mill again. They try and have it for East Belmont. Off the ground there from Paul Johns, who's on the ground. But a boundary throw in out of side. Just near the club rooms here at East Belmont. And the home side, 30, 28 points down at the start of the uh, third term. Legal can take it out of the ruck, gets a high tackle from, uh, I think that might have been Richard Neal, and a free kick to the senior vice-captain. Played OK too, Jamie Legal. He's had a bit of a walk around now and suggests too far out to score. He might fancy himself a bit. I think he's a bit uh, ambitious there. Let's see if he's got his ambitions and his, and his abilities mixed up. He goes into the forward zone with his kick. But it's chopped off by Nicky Latino, the Mediterranean man in that back pocket. Reliable as ever, takes the mark. Looks down the ground, doesn't Ooh. see a lot. Went the short one. Oh, two uh, East Belmont players upset one another. And it allowed De Vollenbrit to come in and pick it up and kick it out on that right foot. Long, too far for Lehman. Here comes McLaughlin. Boobies there, going to push in the back. Play on as the call. And the umpire said, I'm going to ball it up. And obviously my foray into the technical department trying to start that time clock wasn't very good because our director, Noel Fanning, has made the trip upstairs to, uh, to start the clock himself. Bounce down, comes out towards the half-forward flank for Blue West. Frank Ernelli can run on. He taps it out in front of him with a little soccer kick in front of Phillips, also in front of Jeffrey. Tries to keep it in, he does so. Phillips is back for the Lions. You'll see it over the line. And Frankie certainly probably would have played a bit of soccer in his time, so he... Good little soccer kick there. <laughs> well, his father might have. <laughs> uh, Frankie. Bands we throw in now. Dunlop to do the ruck work. Goes over the back. He, he comes back, though. He does get the tap down to the love child. He tries to tap it out to half forward. Kick off the ground by East Belmont. Calder running through. Should be able to pick it up. Oh, he runs past it and can't take it with him. O'Loughlin kicks it off the ground. Only as far as Holdsworth. He's going to get tackled. He has to quick... quick Kick quickly towards Phillips. Booby off the ground. McLaughlin out towards Jeff Shaw. Oh, he's tackled after the ball by Lakino. It comes out towards the wing. McKenzie leads in the race for the ball. Good use of the body by Butler. Gets it to Kelly. Tries to do one before two. He gets up now towards centre half forward. Good play there by Chandler to tap it away from Johns. Volum Brett tackle without the ball. Comes out to the front of the pack. Chandler can get a quick kick out towards the wing. And, and Murray Scott takes the mark in front of the Eskimo. He takes the mark out here, just offensive side of centre wing, Murray Scott. Awkward looking kick, and so it turned out. That's a mark or a free kick, both. I suggest the mark paid first of all to Jamie Legal, who chipped in there in front of Stewie Scott. Took a nice little grab. Bit of a standing start, this one. Up towards half forward, players rose high. Up there high was Neil punching the ball to the ground. The back of the pack, Lachino, doesn't get as far as him. It might now. Neil, no. Little McKenzie got the kick out. Chance they ran to run the ball out nicely here. Ooh, got a kick in an hurry now, Tunga Neal. Got the foot into it okay. Went towards Latter at centre wing. He had dodged the tackle from Legal. Eventually got the hand pass away. Stepped away from Haldsworth. Players are very keen to get the possession of the football here at centre wing. Latter had it, lost it. In went the big fella, Stevens. Laid the tackle on Latter. In comes umpire Johnny. Grabs this and says, I'll pull this one up. Yeah. Out of the centre wing position. Certainly letting things go, the umpires at the moment. Trying to let both sides... Work each other out here. Ladder takes it out of the ruck. Oh, kick it. Straight out of bounds on the full from the big ruckman. Yeah, no right foot there, of no. course. Used the left foot and uh, hooked it with that left and out of bounds as she goes. 
And it looks like Dunlop there. The radials got it there in the back pocket. Oh, well, that is uh, Lemonade and Sass to kick that one. And the, uh, what a great pass off the Lemonade and Sass too. The mark taken by Legal. He goes right foot towards Johnson. At the back of the pack, he's got it. Greg Johnson straightens up and goes for home with a long right foot kick. Oh, Jamie Southern hit him on the shoulder and bounced off. He went in after it again. Lays the tackle now on Cowie, who tries to get away. Hold the balls like call from the boundary line here. Umpire comes in and is going to board up. Great play, Southern. He... Got rid of Cowie beautifully and then couldn't take the mark. Yep. Bad play. Did everything could... right but take the mark. He did pretty hard and pushed Scotty Cowie off the footy and he did it well S and just is. couldn't grab it. Bounce down now. Volan Brett pushing the back, I think. Yep, put his shoulder in. And uh, free kick to East Belmont directly in front of goal to go to get Johnson. And yeah, we've played, uh, that's just two minutes and 43 seconds. But had about four or five minutes of that because it took me that long to work out how to operate this thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's a free kick to Johnson. He'll kick the goal. Don't worry about this. He's a good kick for goal, Greg Johnson. This will be your second of the afternoon. Are you going to mark that down already? Oh, yeah, I've already put it in. Look at that. I've marked it in. Johnson comes in, goes for goal. Bang! Umpire says... <laughs> Yo, thank God for that. <laughs> he's just snuck it in. <laughs> Front in the daylight's out of me there, John. He waited a while. Yeah, he did. He gets there. I'm going to get that goal up for later. <laughs> but it took about four years off me like that. Greg Johnson kicks his second uh, for East Belmont. He's second for the afternoon. And he has got the total moment of goals for East Belmont. And he's a dangerous player on attack when given the opportunity. And, uh, well, that's a nice one they got back there. They played quite well in the second half of that second quarter, East Belmont, but couldn't kick majors. Now they've got one early stage of the third quarter. GDFL Bingo Centre School Board shows Blue West. 6-1. Great kicking on the day like today. 37 points. East Belmont are two goals, 2-14. Seven scoring shots to four. Not that much in the scoring shots, but East Belmont uh, trailing Blue West at this stage of the game. Back in the centre, Stevens gets the tap down. Nobody can get an effective possession from the middle, and umpire Hooper come in and affect a bounce down. Ladder and Stevens have been at each other for the whole ruck contest this afternoon. And again, Stevens gets a tap out towards the wing position. Inga Worsen can run on. Great pick up one handed tackle by Quinn without the ball, pushing the back. And a free kick to Inga Worsen just inside the centre square. Oh, he got Ladder running past. He can go long the big ruckman with his left foot. Poor kick off the boot, but it goes out towards Lehman. A good diving mark from Vinny in front of McLaughlin at half forward. Swings around on the right foot, Vinnie Lehman now too far out to score. Centres the ball nicely. Up goes Cam Pedley. It's knocked away from him at the back of the pack. A charge here, Stewie's got the ball slapped away from him also. Dunlop is in there doing well. Jeffrey and out of bounds. It goes far side of the ground. We just saw that little number four water boy go past. There's not much of him, is there? <laughs> That's what country footy is all about. It's a kid out there about nine or ten carrying the water out to his heroes. A ball in. Cam Pigley was up for the ruck. About 30 players around the ball again. Dunlop's in there for East Belmont. It's going to be over the line in front of Lehman and also McLaughlin boundary throw in again Dunlop to do the ruck work he's up in front, Cam Pigley comes from behind tapped down, good play by O'Loughlin to get it down towards half forward, McKenzie straight at the ball once again, David Cook likes his play and so do I, left foot kick back to whence it's came Cam Pigley in front, tapped over the back good roving at the front of the pack by East Belmont Calder runs through from centre half back short little kick and finds the big man Stevens at half kick. back Good kick. That's his first mark, Stevens. He needs to take a few more of those, too. He's fired up the hand pass. Couldn't pick it up, though. Wasn't no number at all. Colton, was it? Kept coming. Yep. Got it back towards half forward, but uh, weight of numbers here. See Blue West come out with Bottom, but a short kick taken by Holdsworth, been a handy player. Fires the hand pass across. Whoops, the daisy. Thrown off the footy. It's okay. It winds up with Ianelli. Ianelli goes round the body into the forward pocket. At the back, it goes towards the Eskimo. Quinn. And the boundary umpire beats, beats the ball, in fact, and says, i got to have a bit of a throw in here. This is the far side of the ground. It's the boundary umpire that fell flat in his lemonade and sass a few times. <laughs> There's a great shot of this uh, dirty behind them as he throws it back at a play. Good play by Legel to take the ball out of the ruck and give it to the running book. Oh, good play by Ian Alley to intercept, though. He's got help in Scott. Turns around. Oh, Ian Alley tackle without the ball. Come to Cam Pigley. Left foot kick. Goal. Great goal, yep. Cam Pigley. Standing start. Left foot. 35 metres, split the woodwork, no troubles at all, and through she goes. Darren Cam Pigley kicks his second of the afternoon, and we'll put that one down with a bit of help, I reckon, from uh, Frankie Ianelli. Great yep. smother. Yep, smothered the ball and got it back, and Cam Pigley finishes it off with a goal, his second of the afternoon, and the GDFL Bingo Centre scoreboard will show that the Geelong West Cricket and Football Club side have moved to 7-1. Great kicking.
this afternoon in uh, heavy conditions here at Winter Reserve, 7 one forty three, and East Belmont two two fourteen. 14 GDFL Bingo Centre scoreboard. It looked like Scragger Craig there in the in the, in the the picture again there. Loves him taking out Scragger. <laughs> Up they go. Latter does the ruck work and does it quite nicely too. Brings the ball to the turf, then goes in after it. Threw it out the back. Lachino's a chance. He paddles it up the ground. Here comes Ingerwerson. He paddles it further forward. Little kick off the ground by the love child's okay. Cook got it down towards the centre wing. Got to be a free kick to Holdsworth. Holding the man, the umpire. One of the very few mistakes today has decided on a ball up. Yep, could have been a free kick there. Only made a couple of mistakes today, though, in uh, trying conditions. The umpires have been quite good. Stevens gets the tap down towards Travis Kelly. He's tackled by two Blue West players. Tries to get the ball out. Has to be another bounce down. And it is. We can tell you there was... Uh, the umpires had a fair bit of work in the second quarter. They had 16 ball-ups in the second quarter. Yeah, they're getting tired through the players. They can't knock it out anymore. Now, up she goes. Set a wing position. Uh, Stevens goes over the top there of Latte. Comes to the ground. Little kick around the body. Not particularly good. Lucino intercepted quite nicely. Got the football to hand pass out wide. It's gone out of bounds. Boundary throw in. And we've got the bespectacle boundary umpire on this occasion to throw the ball back into play. Here he is. No. Moment of glory here. Oh, he said, and he threw it back in okay too. Over the back of the packet went. That was the Gala charge. Up the hands, it comes to Lion. Lion across to the centre of the ground. Oops, the daisy can't be it. That's the rumble. That's the bull ant man. Who's that? That's, uh, uh, the Harry Butler couldn't pick it up on that occasion. Comes back to Lion in trouble. Got the hand pass away. No one to give it to, but Ingerwerson. He gets it across to Lehman. Lehman in the glue pot. And up and under kick. Oh, who wants to wait under this? Murray Scott says, I've got to. He had no choice in the matter. Fists come from behind, fists the ball to the turf. Umpire comes in, John grabs this wheel ball up, and uh, gee, how do you like to be standing under those kicks when they're up in the air? And they're there for about three minutes, and you're waiting, waiting, and you can hear them coming. <laughs> <laughs> Good play by Scott, and also Richard Neal to be there underneath that ball up at centre half forward. Stevens over the back, ladder should get a free kick for over the shoulder, and does so at centre half forward. Played very well, he has played very well. Yep, for a big man. He gets in and buries himself to get the ball also. He goes with a big torpedo punt. Outnumbered up there, Blue West. Oh, they, Vinnie Lehman and Cam Pigley went up against each other. Calder can get a handball out towards Phillips. He's going to kick off the ground. No talking there. Beekmans has got time to pick the ball up. Comes out. Booked a slips over. Haby there. Runs it from defence now. Can go towards centre half back and finds the big man. Stevens takes his second mark in two minutes. Takes that one in front of ladder. That's in a oh, hand pass to the gal. Wasn't too good. Hand pass back to Haby. Wasn't too good either. Picked up by Cook, who's played a great game. Might get you a tanker today, Sam. He put, kicks long with the right foot. He's off line. It's out of bounds on the full. And uh, the goal umpire telling the boundary umpire that one is the boundary umpire. It was about 55 metres away and would not have known. Here's Bookter. The short kick from Bookter. Not too good. Intercepting there. Murray Scott. He takes this mark. Inside, just outside the 50, in fact. Too far out to score. Goes and centres the ball. Quinn touches it on the mark. Ladder now. The big man turns around on his left foot. Oh, he goes for glory, but he only finds the boundary line. Boundary throw in about 15 metres around from the cheetah goal. He likes to hook up with that left foot a bit. He's got the cap in that direction now. He's just got the radar working incorrectly. Actually, it's a boundary throw in. It wasn't out on the full. Let's wait the boundary throw in. Not bad. Up over the top. Beekman's knocked the ball to the turf. Clearing the football away is Coulter. He's played a fair game in defence for East Belmont. The Lions now get the ball out towards half back. Here comes Holdsworth. A hand pass back in the direction of Ingalls. Oh. Pushed in the back for mine. Play on as the call. It's okay. It was half the side, half the back. Here's Lehman. He gets a kick smothered. It's gone rebounding over the outer line. Out of bounds she goes. The smatherer there was a, a lion, Johnny Lyons. Did quite nicely, and it's a boundary show in. 65 metres around from the Blue West goal. Cam Pigley comes over the back. McLaughlin misses the ball. Also Beckley there. Taps it out to Vinnie Lehman again. He turns around McLaughlin onto his left foot. Paul kick, though, this time, and out of bounds on the full. Well, yes, he's not much wrong. I guess no. you've got to forgive him one yep. or two. And uh, Dunlop has to go over and retrieve the ball, which is nearly over the road to Oberon High School again. Goal kickers for Blue West. Finney Lehman, three. Darren Cam Pigley, two. Wonder Holdsworth and Wonder Stewie Scott. And uh, East Belmont's two goals both being kicked by Greg Johnson. Could get the incentives this afternoon if there's any up here at East Belmont. He's kicked two goals. <laughs> He's kicked the whole score. Two yeah, goals. Might get the pizza award or something. Yeah. <laughs> Dunlop now with the ball at half back. Goes on his left foot, goes out towards the wing. It's going to drop short. Johnson's in front. Scott's over the back. But a mark has been paid. Fallen into the arms of Ian Burnett there. He goes from half back, short kick. Oh, in the, in the middle, Murray Scott takes the mark, chips in at, on the wing, plays on now. 
Awkward looking kicking style up towards centre half forward. Inga Worsen sets himself. Calder over the back play on. Ian Nelly can't take the ball with him. Cam Pigley, great running from Lakino. Poor kick off the boot though towards Beekmans. He's under pressure from Bukta. Can tap it out. He does so to the love child. He can't get a handball out. Only as far as Phillips. He drops the ball once. He's tackled now. Has to get out. Scragger's down there. He wants a goal, does he? He wants the tank it. He handballs over. Oh, oh great. great hand pass. Scragger to the Chino. Hit him on the chest. He conceded a bit of ground and kicked it to Murray Scott. Scragger. Sensational stuff. Get to the Scott now. Scott goes across great the ground. Kick. Love Lovely kick just inside the 50, coming down Tanganeel from centre half back, takes the mark. Oregon Scrag has got eyes in the back of his head. <laughs> I tell you what, on the bad pass from Tanger either, if you don't mind. Very nice little chip into the centre half forward position. Inga Worsen. And I'm just going to have a look here. I thought it was me love child for a minute. They both got a bit of mud on them. <laughs> it's Gavin Inga Worsen. Nothing to do with him at all, I'm afraid. And Inga Worsen going to have the shot for goal. What great play from Alan Craig to get that ball back. He's taken plenty of time about this Gabbaninga Worsen. I think he knows he's on screen, comes in and goes for goal. Won't make the distance, I don't think. Up from behind the pack, the ball's punched back into play. Vinnie Lumen's a chance to run off it, does so. Well, threw it away as he was uh, off balance. Uh, play on is the call. <laughs> Vinnie's just been driven into the ground and said, what about that? And I said, I'd already stopped playing, Vinnie. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, might have got a bit of mud in the hair there, but he might not like that one too much. Got to use a bit of the sun silk tonight, I think. <laughs> Ball up now. Dunlop taps it out towards half forward, but Holdsworth's there, and he's shepherded by two players. Poor kick, though. Oh, falls to Vinnie Lehman. But East Belmont players spoiled each other. Inga Worsen out the back of the pack, the ladder onto his left foot. Beekman's in front, down the field, though. And a free kick. Couldn't quite pick up who, uh, I think it might have been Inga Worsen that got shoved as he uh, handballed it out the back to ladder. And a free kick down the field. Alan Beekman's to take it. He's only about uh, 10 metres out. Obviously, that's the side of the ground that uh, he should be out there, uh, Justin Ladder, because he hooked that one back nicely. Well, he's didn't he? I mean, he's had to <laughs> hooks him over the boundary line, but he hooked that one back very nicely into the, you know, the corridor, and Beekman shouldn't have too much trouble in to go back and kick the goal. Paddock Burns putting trap. He's up on the board there. We know what the time is, but they, but they bring us the time clock when it does appear. Here comes Beekman. Comes in to have the shot for goal. Oh. And what happened there? Well, he's hit, hit the post. It hit the uh, hit the man on the mark and the post yeah. also. Well, that's a fair kick, I suppose you'd say, wouldn't you? <laughs> Pretty hard. You have 20 goes of that and not do it again. <laughs> Beekman's kicks are behind. Should have kicked the goal, no doubt about it. Oh, 13, 14 minutes gone on the Baddick Burns Sporting Trophy's time clock. And our technical director extraordinaire down there is back with us again. Nice to have you back, son. Book the kicks in to the outer side. The love child can't take the mark. It beats him and Jeffrey over the line. And half back, there'll be a throw in. If David Cook's uh, the love child, there's also one at uh, Anarchy too, isn't it? That's yeah, no, he's, he's, he's a, I think he's, a, he's not a child. He's about my age, Cook. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's ready to give it away. <laughs> Boundary throw in, half forward flake, up they go. Over the back, uh, Legal, doing a bit of ruck work there. Trying to get the ball out. Comes to Inga worse and tackled. Got a little hand pass in, didn't get it far. Diving in on top, but Craig Jeffrey did well for the Lions. Had another ball up, and uh, Jason uses a bit more of the pennies mark on these balls up here this afternoon. And how many balls ups have we had, Jason? We've had 23 in the first half, and we've had uh, nine so far this quarter. Okay, well, I predict. I thought there might be about 60, so we're well underneath that at the moment. Ball back into play. Oh, that's a. They used to use that hold at the wrestling. Actually, <laughs> a forward meal or something they called it the wrestling. You duck the head, and the other bloke's uh, solar flexes, and he grabs you around the neck and the arms and the legs. And so, what the result is is a ball up. The referee used to say break. The ball up. <laughs> Beekman's gets the tap down. Lions tries to get a quick kick away. Cooks in there, and also Dunlop, a smothered kick. Murray Scott gets a handball out towards Ian, Ian Alley and Haby, but it beats them over the line and a boundary throw in. Been a solid player today, Murray Scott. Yep. It's worked very hard. Uh, he seems to be having a bit of an on ball role this afternoon. He seems to be at both ends of the ground. He might be playing on a wing or something, but he's certainly covering a bit of territory. He's working hard for Blue West. Ball thrown back into play. Up they go. Dunlop slips this one out over the top. Who Whoa. wants the footy? Oh, that's a free kick. And we all went all up here and we said, yes, sir. <laughs> well, gee, going crook too, isn't he? Uh, Chris Coulter didn't like that decision. I'll say he didn't. But I think there's much doubt about it. No. Didn't and have the ball. Gavin Ingerwerson has just become pregnant. He's put that one <laughs> up. Look at him. <laughs> he looks like Ronnie Bray with that stuck up there. <laughs> <laughs> he got more air than Ronnie. Probably got more brains too. He's just wiping the mud off the ball. Going to give it back to Beekman's. Now let's see if he can make amends for that previous shot from about 12 metres out where he hit the man on the mark and the post in the one kick. Probably too far out this time. Now there's no one standing the mark. Actually he comes in and tries oh. the short one. Haby goes up and dropped one he should have taken. A little kick off the ground there from Bukta. Heads for the fence. He only dives in after it. The boundary umpire, we've lost him. Oh no, he's down there looking at the sun. It was out for about three seconds. 
but he's looking into the sun. And he couldn't pick it up. He's eventually blown the whistle. And the ball's hit him in the head. I think he's lost the plot. The boundary umpire's lost the plot here. A winner reserve. Wait on this. He's straight. No, he's straight it back in. All right. By golly, I thought he was gone for all money. Haven't got a reserve boundary umpire out here either. We might have to get Cogsy out here to do it. Not Basil. Not Basil. <laughs> Brian, you mean. Oh, well, he'd be all right, Brian. He'd be good <laughs> <laughs> Boundary umpires drew it back in. They all stacked on top of one another. And John grabs and says, I will leave you a bit of pressure, son. I'll throw this one up. Beekman's went up up the bottom of the turf. Here comes Ingerworth and oh, could have got one over the top of the boat. Hamey likes a break. Here comes the racehorse. And he spirals one of you. Don't mind lovely kick. Oh. Johnson takes a great mark uh, on the attacking side of centre wing. Johnson now goes in towards the centre of the ground, looking for and couldn't find Paul Johns. Good play over the top of the pack. Oh, thrown out by Blue West there. That was Chandler. And a free kick in the middle of the ground. Well, Chandler said that the, uh, the electrical store, they're also there for throwing things down. He probably <laughs> thought it was all right. Burnett goes short. Oh, Paul kick looks for the Chris Stewart, who's just on the ground. Ladders back there. Good tackle. In the, and there's about 40 players that come in and stack on him. And umpire grabs us to uh, throw the ball up. And Haby. It looks a bit bedraggled, the bear brown boy. Got the strides hanging a bit lower there. I think he's dropped the bundle. <laughs> a sensation here at Winter Reserve. The bear brown boy. I think he's ready to retire. Lachino's coming off the ground for a well earned rest. And we'll just pick up who comes on. There's a report going on in the middle of the ground. There certainly no is. Lachino's been sent off, I'd suggest. Umpire Graps has had the book out. He didn't see any fisticuffs. He, he might have uh, perhaps swore at uh, John. Yep, and uh, he might have an appointment on Monday night. Yes. This boundary umpire seems to be a little bit uh, bewildered for what's going on. Oh, I think he's lost the plot, the boundary. <laughs> <laughs> so get back to the footy here. He charged his way through the pack. There was the 21 Guernsey of Burnett. He couldn't handle it. little hand pass came out from Newton. Wasn't too good, though. It's a centre half forward, but he's born. They'd love to kick another goal here. Kicked off the ground there by the butler. Here comes Ingerworth, and off the ground he goes. Out wide, here comes Butler again. Cam Peatley. Oh, up and under he goes. Legal, John got underneath, if you don't mind. Cowie's there. Runs about the hand pass. But the boundary umpire on the far side of the ground in complete control of things out there. Said the ball's out of bounds. And just going back to that run from Haby, he is the Mark Zanotti of East Belmont. That was a fantastic <laughs> run from Zanotti. Cam Pigley in the middle of the pack. Gets it out the back only as far as Lyons. Intercepted by Inga Worsen. Pushing the back. Play on. No free kick. Neil, good handball to Vinnie Lehman. Tries to get it with one hand. Oh, does the tack Good tackle by East Belmont there. And it comes in. Has to be a push by umpire Hooper. Called by umpire Hooper and Greg Johnson to take the free kick in the middle of the ground. Yeah, John has got it. He's just sitting on and go back. I'm going to have a long one. <laughs> See where he goes. Wasn't a bad kick with a wet ball either. Just got it up there. It's about 45 metres, I suppose you'd call that. But uh, lurking in front of the pack here, Gavin Ingerworth with the number obliterated takes the mark. Hand pass to Scragger. He's got this one. Hand passes over the top. It's okay. Cam Pigley's oh. kick around the body. Not too good from the big fella there. Fell over. Was it Stevens? No, it wasn't. Picked up here and kicked into the forward zone. Here they come, Blue West. Beekmans can't hold the mark. Saps it away from Bukta. Here comes Ian Ellie. Take it away from him down there by, was it Dunlop? Jeffrey. No, Jeffrey it yep. was. Tumbled the punt out towards half back. Around the body. Into the forward zone. Ian Ellie a chance. Great. The hand pass is okay. Scott. This oh. is Stewie Scott kicked it backwards. Oh. Lehman takes the mark, or attempted to. Now, he's, he's kicked it from about 20 metres out, and he's kicked it backwards, and Vinnie Lehman's got the resultant free kick about 40 metres out. Yeah, <laughs> so well, no closer to goal. But the umpire blew the whistle <laughs> yeah. while the ball was in the air, yeah. so it must have been a late tackle on yeah, Scott. Yep. And uh, Vinnie Lehman might Oof. move into the goal kick. Wayne Tyke will look out. Here comes <laughs> Vinnie. He's kicked three already. He comes in for his fourth goal. Lehman goes for goal. Oh, kick from Lehman. He... Missed to the left-hand side. <laughs> just drifted it away there. It was pretty hard kicking goals from that far out with the greasy ball and everything, and he just didn't get enough elevation on that one either. No, he did not. And uh, third quarter, GDFL bingo centre scoreboard. And Geelong West have uh, kicked away, holding their lead, booked it out. Short kick, or oh, poor kick. Scragger runs in, can goal. He might get the tank it now. It's a tank it goal for sure. He kicked the goal. Scragger, magnificent player in the boats now, Scraggs. No worries about that. He's coming a bit of territory today. He read that. See, he's a back man, Scragg. He knew that, 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 what that player was going to do, kicking the ball back in. Put himself in the right position. Took them up. Didn't waste any time. He didn't nope. have time to give Played a big on yellow. Goal. And uh, Scragger bangs one through at the 21. Let's call that about the 25-minute mark of the third quarter here. Batty Burns Sporting Trophies bring us the time clock when we start it. And uh, the Scoreboard coming up now on the score uh, on the screen. Here it is. 
Now, here's the boundary up. Well, there'd be spectacle one. He's, uh, he's a bit, bit sad today, I think. <laughs> Strides are getting a bit lower there. 2-2-14, <laughs> two, two, East Belmont. Blue West have got 8 one forty nine. And can we put... Is it too hard to put the umpires up again? We might work out which one this boundary umpire is. It's, uh, it's got Dub or Scott Travis Zimmer. Uh, Travis Zimmer, it is. It's Trav. Yeah, well, come it's on, Trav. You'll be all right, son. You'll get through the game. We'll help you through it. Up again now, Stevens and Ladder. Comes towards McLaughlin and also Lehman, who's in the middle of the ground now. And another ball up. Umpire grabs us to come in and do that. And, uh, Brett doesn't think he's too good. He's, Brett's worried well, if, about if, that if players, can lo- <laughs> if players can lose the plot a little bit, so can umpires. No, and right. umpires and goal umpires. It just looks like he needs a, a hit or something, doesn't he? <laughs> give, him some, give him some wacky back in a three-quarter time to get him going again or something. I don't know what we're going to do with him. Three kick in the middle of the ground. Greg to, Johnson uh, uh, doesn't want to hand it back to Stewie Scott. So, so Stewie Go gets it himself. Just defensive side of setup. Stewie Scott now. Right foot kick. Not a bad one either, but that's a good one. There's the butler done it again. He's lost the ball hand anyway. That's pretty pleased. Got that out of his shoe. Took a nice grab there, Butler, on the defensive side of the centre of the ground. He heads out wide with a right foot kick. Goes out looking for Burnett, but he's right on the hammer from Campiglia, who's obviously been moved towards the back line now. Tackled, that should be holding the ball, but he gets it out. Stewie Scott runs through, tries to kick it off the ground. So is McKenzie's held without the ball. It's back in towards Inga Worson, who can't pick it up at the first attempt. Goes back, good spin out. Gives it to Darren Cook. Oh, he's tackled there by Haby and also McLaughlin. It's play on now. Phillips off the ground. Only as far as Stuart Scott. He's got a quick kick towards centre half 40. And now he's in front and a good mark oh, on the chest by Frankie. A great mark, that, because the ball's like a piece of soap. Scragger! Here he is he again. To Scragger. Oh, Alan Maradona kicks the ball off the ground into the forward zone. Here comes Bookter. He's got to kick it well because Scragger wants it. He's kicked it over Scragger's head. Not a bad kick from Bookter either. Out the half back, Craig Jeff. He can't hold the mark. Comes to ground. Scrag is back here in front of the camera. That's the way Scrag gets it over here to Frankie and Ellie. Oh, he put down after he kicked the dummy down the ground. The mark taken anyway by uh, Murray Scott, who wanted to go on with it. Had Frankie and Ellie cop one there. Yeah, the the uh, infringement was it Craig Jeffrey, was it not? Yes, it was. And uh, actually, it was, was unlucky, really, because Murray Scott took the mark just outside 50. Had no one near him, could have could run have into on. Yep. touched it on the ground twice and really had a shot for goal, but he had to come back. And uh, Scott now goes across towards centre-half forward. Too much carry on the ball there for Holdsworth. At the base of the pack, the Eskimo Quinn's in there fighting as Jason Doherty puts pen to paper again. The umpire. Who's that one? That's Noel, isn't it? That's Noel. Yep, yeah, Noel says I'm going to ball it up. Umpire Noel. Bounce down now, ladder. Jeffrey runs through without the ball. Can't take it with him. Legal's in there. Also, Stewie Scott. And I'll put pen to paper again for another bounce down. Okay. Well, we'll let him do one more of these, and then we're in Where's business. Where's Ronnie Brown? Sorry? Where's Ronnie Brown? He's at the Gravedale uh, reunion. He played one game out there as well, evidently. <laughs> he played one here at East Belmont. He played one with Bannockburn and one at Gravedale. He's, he goes to all the reunions. And five at Newdown. Yeah, it was just forward <laughs> thinking from Ronnie there. But Lockman picks it up and tumbles the putt up and under. Oh, oh ah. take it there. Takes a great mark over the big fella, Stevens. He wanted to play on. He wasn't allowed to. That's okay. And Tango played a grand game at centre-half back, I reckon. And he putt kicks the ball out towards the other fella. Played a good game. Lehman, too far for him. Who's that, 28? But the ball. Beckley, he's yep. on the ground. He was on earlier on, wasn't he? Oh, Ooh, umpire's pinned one here, and uh, and Booby going to take the Booby. free kick. Booby's at half back now. He's playing on Lehman. He gets a kick out towards the wing, but a timely mark taken by Stuart Scott. Been on. a very serviceable player, Stuart Scott today. Goes short to his assistant coach, Darren Campigley. Scott Shepherds for him, so he can get around on his left foot. Goes towards half forward. Mackenzie takes the mark. He's also been a solid contributor this afternoon. He goes short onto his left foot. Oh, Scott didn't take the mark. Good play by Cook. He can't get it towards Scott again. He chases the ball over the top. No free kick. Good play by Quinn to see it out. And Beckley also. There's the three-quarter time siren. Sounds like a car horn. Actually, I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> One of the local, local young boys have blown it the hard there. Yeah, three-quarter time. It says we've gone 25 yeah, we've minutes gone about 25 30. seconds. <laughs> Reckon we went about 35. <laughs> uh, East Scott, East Belmont on the board there. They've got two goals, two 14 points on the GDFL Bingo Centre uh, third quarter scoreboard. Eight goals, one I've got. Is that right? Correct. 49 points, 8-1. Pity they kicked Crooker because 1-8 would have been a real tight game at now, third quarter time, would it? But uh, they've yeah, been a bit solid. Our, I've had the, the word. Cameraman's got that uh, every <laughs> umpire up again. He's worried. And also, um, <laughs> East Belmont's gone from one goal, 3-9 at halftime to 2-2-14. Two, two, Is that correct? Just making sure. That's what the scoreboard says. We'll check that score <laughs> for you as you have a putt at the Western and enjoy the last quarter coming up. The GDFL Bingo Centre scoreboard, 14 plays 49. I think it might be 15 plays 49. We'll correct that after the three-quarter time break.